Hola, bonjour, merhaba, kanichi, wagwan, hello. You know who it is, people? It's Arsenal's Realist. I want to thank you all for being here. It means a lot, the subs, the views. Big up everybody. Now, I am preparing, I'm doing a little live, I'm preparing. I'll let you lot know, it'll be scheduled in when it comes. But as we saw Tierney bang a beautiful goal in against West Brom and re-kick the revitalisation of the match in that moment, should I say. We were, everyone's expecting to keep losing, losing, losing. You beat Chelsea, what's going to happen? You do Brighton, what's going to happen? But like I said, Tierney passes the ball one way, runs around the other player the other way, cuts in on the inside, right hand side, cuts in on his weaker foot, right foot, slap bosh, bing bang, bosh, bobs your uncle. Tierney's going in, not to mention his penalty against Chelsea that he worked against Reese. he cut round and go. What I'm trying to say is, is when Tierney came under uh, unrecognisable Arsenal under Unai Emery and we looked around and we said, you know what? There's not much there, but he looked to the right of him, he saw Mustafa. He looked in front of him, he saw Kalazanach, but if he looked to the right, he saw Real Nenny. I was a bit weary to say, what's going to happen? Where is this going? Do you know what I mean? What are we going to see out of him? Because when we look on his opposite side, imagine you look at the football pitch like a mirror, bro. If you look on the other side, you see Bellerin, you say, when we got Bellerin in, what did we really do? Over the years, I remember one season, he was feeding Sonogo. Seasons before that, he's feeding Bentner, when he luckily enough to get forward as Bellerin at one point in his career. We know he was really bombing forward really fast. And these are years when it was, like I said, as you see, Sano goes, Bentners. Then we go before you say, who was, who did the Arsenal establishment try to spike Cabellerin with to increase his performances and show him he's the future? Rare, rare, rare. Jenkinson. Unai Emery comes in. Lich Steiner. To the left of him was Monreal. Can you imagine all the, I mean, Monreal. Mertesacker. So what I'm trying to say is, for me now, Bellerin's not a letdown. I'm not trying to boy it, but he definitely didn't evolve into the player that I once thought. And I will always forever believe maybe his ceiling got lost. Not due to him or anyone. You need to spike performances around the pitch And that's what I was worrying about When it came with Tierney But we're seeing that Tierney is not having it The Celtic boy blah Do you get me? He's Arsenal boy that But that passion, that drive Even the way he celebrates is remarkable Last season again Two, three, four assists to Aubameyang Really showing what he's got And now I ask you It's the same situation We always lie in I'll do a live about that on another day But it's not about the player It's all good cussing Oxley chamberlain It's all good cussing Ramsey It's all good cussing Bellerin It's all good cussing Tierney But they're there comes a point, not in a grown man's career, but there comes a point in a young man's career where you have to start building in that position and giving them quality, quality colleagues to play with. So I don't believe it happened with Bellerin. I got a lot of people, when they looked around that pitch back in the day for a few years, we would honestly say, do you know what? You didn't support a lot of this Arsenal team and the players in their positions, looking at owners. And that's why you get Sanchez is leaving, Robin Van Persie is leaving, Ashley Cole's leaving, all this, I don't feel that the team's getting built properly. So now, every transfer window, people, we're clutching at straws, we're screaming do you know what I mean, it's this, that, we was linked to Isco recently and I personally I said, you know what, we've been linked to him for five six years, check out the previous vid that I did, I said, link in description but I said, do you know what, I like Isco this and that, but do you know what, it's five, six, seven years later, he's washed up, I showed you his stats his stats have been steadily declining for the last ten years, till we get to the point now where the stats are saying nothing, there's nothing going on, although it is contagion year, but it means nothing, I tried to look at a little familiar counterpart like Nabil Fakir, as as if to say, why are we just linked to Isco? You should never be linked to just Isco or just Fakir. Because these level of players whose stats are non-consistent and you could be getting one of many a type of player mentality-wise, I believe if you're linked to a player in, for instance, if you're just linked to Giroud as a striker, why? He's not the, he's not a hundred million pounds. He's not the out and out 35 a goal, uh, 35 goals a year striker. So if you're looking at a caliber of player like Giroud who costs whatever he's going to cost you, 10 million, there should be other options you should have 10 players similar to him that when you go and talk and negotiate you see what what suits you best as Arsenal but now this Isco thing there has been nothing it was party and Ua we got party when we got party there was no talk of his partner being Isco there was no plan and now what I'm saying to you is is I wasn't happy with the Isco thing but then we come out today and look what you see people look at this Arsenal opt against Isco move. Is it? Bruv, Arsenal's an op. It didn't opt to do anything. Speaking of Arsenal, the Gunners have reportedly decided against making a move for Real Madrid playmaker Isco. Admin the form of emerging talent in Emil Smith Rowe. The 20 year old has started the North London club's last three Premier League games, registering two assists in the process. Some saying Smith Rowe giving Arsenal what they need and what they've been lacking. Now, let me say something. Yeah? Tierney, Martinelli, Sack. Yeah, listen, we've got a good couple young kids to rely on and push forward and see where it goes. But 
How dare we? Are we going to do what we've done to all our players, yeah? We've got Smith Rowe now, and apparently that's the reason why we are not improving our midfields ratio, our stats ratio, our competitive ratio. How dare? So all the pressure's on Smith Rowe now, yeah? So what I'm trying to say is, um, Arsenal fans, I wonder what Arteta's job really is, man. I wonder what Unai Emery's job really was, because how? There's no way managers are going and saying, I don't want professional footballers who've had experience playing for 10, 15 games. I want to stick with these kids. I I believe we should be getting the likes of quality players in on the middle, quality players in at right back, quality players in at left back, that's why we've got Tierney, but quality players all over the place and they should be learning with Smith Rowe, growing with Smith Rowe, teaching him a few tricks of the trade that he didn't know, one on one. What do we really mean to achieve and we keep throwing these kids in in the deep end with an unexperienced manager, big up our tail, but an unexperienced, where is the experience coming from? Where is the nous coming from? Because what I'm saying to you is people, we're going to do what we've done to so many players and they're going to try and do it to Smith Rowe. Right? Because at the end of the day, if he's the guy that's going in the middle now to take the pressure, to take the flack, there's going to be pressure and flack that comes with it at the end of the day. Yes, I like what Arteta's doing when it comes to uh, Martinelli, Smith Rowe and Saka. Where there's Shaka and El Nene behind him, it does give them a little bit of peace of mind to say, be a bit expressive, go forward. And we have seen it. Saka has really been, lately, them boots have been golden. We're seeing why he is a little mini prodigy. Smith throw again I've been seeing some I like to compare him a little bit to Ramsey and that's not me catting or hating I just really see a tenacity we all know about Ramsey when he wanted to go forward and he just he had them days and then obviously Martinelli blood Martinelli and Tierney on that left sends an electric and a, a reinvigoration down the team that I've been missing for so long in fact I do believe Tierney and Martinelli and Saka all stand out in their own right but it's very early days and uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Smith is definitely going to join that and add that because what I've seen I really do like but I told you I started this video telling you we got Bellerin we did not support Bellerin he went with Mertesacker for 15 years we didn't want to think let's get a young fit healthy defender in just to switch it up a little bit and slowly teach Bellerin the defending side of things we didn't we left Bellerin there for his whole life he looked in front of him sometimes there was Jenkinson he looked to the left of him blood once he does a little run gets the through ball give and go blood it's Bentner in the box yeah it's like his best time came with Bellerin his best player would have been Kazula, and when Kazula was on the pitch, Kazula was surrounded by inexperience in Oxley Chamberlain, Wilcott. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? So it's very unfair, but I don't want to bang on too much, people. Basically, Arsenal has opted out for Isco, as far as I can see, and that really annoys me because we're going to give all the pressure to Smith Rowe. How about we buy a worthy competitor to start spiking some positions at the end of the day? That's how City, Liverpool, that's how anyone wins leagues, apart from United they buy the league but come on people and when I say United buy the league yeah they buy the league bruv they bought Van Persie that's the last one they won and until they buy someone else don't it but blood listen don't let Kronky pull the wool over your eyes forever are we letting Smith Rowe play as a fucking promotion and a present to enjoy it or is it to save money bruv yeah who are Isco oh now we're not buying Smith Rowe I mean Isco because we've got Smith Rowe does that make sense to you lot people yeah this is just a quick one to let you know we need to see what's going on but let's not do not go quiet do not take your foot off the donkey's necks. We need money to be invested. It's not Arteta's fault. We've got a long way to go. You know who it is, people. This was just a quick one. AR, make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you.